Good evening and thank you for being with us for English News Broadcast on Airy TV, live from the headquarter in Asmara at 10.30 p.m. local time. First, the top stars. Solar System Installation Protocol Agreement Workshop on Waste Management Niger Army claims to have killed about 20 terrorists. U.S. imposes new sanction on Iran targeting entities and individuals. In our local news, the Ministry of Finance and National Development signed a protocol agreement today, 23rd March, with the African Development Bank to implement the Dekamhara 30 megawatt solar photovoltaic project worth about $50 million. At the signing ceremony carried out at the Ministry of Finance and National Development Office, Dr. Georgi Stakhle Mikhail, Minister of the Finance and National Development, and Dr. Abdul Kamara, Deputy Director of the African Development Bank, signed the protocol agreement. Speaking at the occasion, Dr. Georgis said that the energy, pro the energy project is an important step toward realizing Eritrea's plan to increase access to electricity and enhance socio-economic development of all Eritreans. Dr. Georgis further noted that the government of Eritrea is working to install step-by-step -step power plants generating 360 megawatts and that the protocol agreement aligned with the other ongoing projects will have significant input in the further rapid inclusive sustainable development market by a firm embrace of green economy. Indicating of the significance of protocol agreement in the development of relations between the government of Eritrea and the African Development Bank, Dr. Abdul Kamara expressed commitment to continue cooperation in the important projects that the government of Eritrea is initiating. The Dekamhara solar photovoltaic will be directly linked with Hergigo Electricity Power, power plant and align it with the other initiatives that will have significant contribution in elevating energy challenges in the country. The Ministry of Land, Water and Environment organized a workshop on 22nd March at the National Conference of Eritrean Workers Hall at Central Region level focusing on waste management. At the workshop in which the Governor of the Central Region, representatives of various ministries, administrator of the South Zones, members of Assembly, National Association and other invited guests took part, Mr. Tasfai Gavras Lase, Minister of Land, Water and Environment, noting on the environmental and human health detriments due to lack of proper waste management, called for putting the waste for the benefit of the public through recycling. Minister Tasfai also underscored on the importance of strengthening institutions to oversee and control chemicals that enter the country legally or illegally before they cause damage on the health of the public. At the workshop, extensive briefing were provided focusing on management of industrial waste, waste transportation and communication, waste mining and energy, medical waste, waste at educational facilities, challenges and consequences of water pollution, current waste management in Asmara, as well as the new guideline on waste management. You are watching Airy TV. Stay tuned for international news after a short break. Welcome back. The Nigerian army said last week it killed about 20 terrorists of the jihadist group Boko Haram and captured 83 other suspected fighters during an operation on the border with Nigeria. 
This airland sweep operation aimed to neutralize the base of the Islamic State in West Africa group, a splinter function of Boko Haram installed in the material forest in the Matari forest in Nigeria from where attacks against towns and military positions in Niger are planned. According to military operation bulletin in the Difar region southeast of Niger, consulted yesterday by AFP. It also aims to maintain pressure on Islamic State in West Africa group and cut its supply lines. The text described according to the report drawn up by the army, some 20 terrorists have been neutralized and 83 suspected Boko Haram terrorists captured and handed over to the Nigerian authorities. Meanwhile, the Nigerian military claims to have intercepted and handed over to Nigerian authorities a total of 1,121 suspected Boko Haram members, including women and children. These people live in the, um, in the Sambisa forest in northern East Nigeria and travel to Nigerian island of Lake Chad to flee fighting with their rivals in the Islamic State in West Africa. The United States has imposed sanctions on four entities and three individuals over their alleged involvement in a procurement network that purportedly supports Iran's unmanned aerial vehicle program. The U.S. Department of the Treasury claims that the network operates on behalf of Iran's Ministry of Defense. According to the report, those hits with the coercive measures are based in Iran and Turkey and are involved in the procurement of equipment, including European origin engines of unmanned aerial vehicle in support of Iran's UAV and weapons programs. The sanction frees any U.S. asset of those targeted and generally bar Americans from dealing with them. Earlier this month, Washington imposed sanction on another alleged China-based network claiming it is helping Iran with the procurement of UAVs. The U.S. Department of the Treasury's Office of Foreign Assets Control said on March 9th that the network of five companies and the individual in responsible for the sale and shipment of thousands of aerospace components, including components that can be used for UAV applications. The sanction came amid U.S. accusation that the Islamic Republic provided Russia with drones to be used by Moscow against Ukraine. And now let's take a look at the top stars. Solar System Installation Protocol Agreement. Workshop on Waste Management Niger Army claims to have killed about 20 terrorists U.S. imposes new sanctions on Iran targeting entities and individuals It was Miss Alain Berhana with the news for tonight. Thank you for being with us. Have a good night.